anyway, uh, we said we would talk about uh, Terra Luna, and what we have on the schedule is talking about um, some of the education work we do here at CosmoQuest. And so uh, I am uh, an astronomer by trade, uh, but I have been fortunate to work with some of these amazing uh, teachers that we have on staff. So we have uh, Georgia Bracey and, and Kathy Costello and Ellen Riley, who have been developing and, curricula. And to be fair, Ooh. Georgia Bracey has a certificate in teaching, taught fifth grade, a master's in physics, and is working on a PhD in education research. So, yeah, so she does all the things. <laughs> Um, but they are all experienced teachers. They've all been in the classroom. And so they are uh, creating education modules to go along with the citizen science projects that we have. So if you go to our website at CosmoQuest.org and you go to the top and click Educate, uh, in that menu is Educator Zone. So I think it's CosmoQuest.org slash blog slash Educator Zone. Um, that is how you can get to our teacher resources. So what we have right now is Terra Luna. So it's a middle school uh, lesson plan unit for um, mm -hmm. science teachers who want to tie uh, Earth geology concepts and lunar geology concepts um, in a way that also pulls in uh, all the different science standards that you have to meet, whether it's the NSES, the National Science Education Standards, the NGSS, the Na Next Generation mm -hmm. Science Standards, or the 2061 standards as well. So you hit the standards that you have to worry about, but you also are, um, you're also uh, getting to do some fun astronomy and space science in the classroom. And so that's uh, not something uh, you always get to do, but uh, we're giving teachers the opportunity to um, use that content, hit the standards they need to hit, and uh, use the Moon Mapper Citizen Science Project in the classroom as well. So we are doing our first full-length teacher professional development starting at 8.30 a.m. Monday, so 12 hours after, pretty much 13 hours after this broadcast ends. Um, we're doing teacher professional development. I will be joining Kathy and Ellen at a uh, middle school where we have, I think, five or six teachers coming. They're spending uh, five days with us, five full days learning the lesson. Um, we've done a couple of hangouts on air. Uh, we've done one hangout on air showing Terra Luna things. Um, we have been talking about doing some more online professional developments so that we can reach people who aren't just in our local area. Um, and we brought a lot of these activities to the National Science Teachers Association, the NSTA conference in San Antonio um, a month or two back. Um, and so we've been getting really good feedback from teachers who are trying it out, who love what, what's going on, who want to bring citizen science and real science into the classroom for their students. Um, so that has been really exciting. And this is the first time I'll actually be working full time um, you know, for, for five full days with teachers and going through the different activities. So uh, there's a lot of activities we pull from NASA, NASA education resources, like we've been talking about. Um, NASA Wavelength is a website that I highly recommend for uh, looking for, um, for activities to use it at all grade levels, featuring space science, earth science, astronomy, um, any uh, engineering, a lot, any kind of uh, topics along those lines that you want to you want to bring to your students. So we use a lot of uh, existing activities. We also created a new one um, that looks at, uh, if you were watching when, when we had Stuart Robbins on, Robbins on talking about how counting craters gives you an idea of the age of a surface. And so um, that uh, is an activity we're working, we, we've developed to uh, get that concept across as well. Uh, and then we do the usual uh, making craters and flour and, and cocoa powder and, and all of that fun goodness, uh, fun messy goodness. Uh, on Wednesday night next week, our usual learning space hangout, we, uh, I will be bringing an update from that. Uh, so it's 6 p.m. Central Time, so 7 Eastern, 4 Pacific. Uh, I'll be doing a hangout update on that program that we're running. Uh, I'll be taking pictures and video. Um, as long as the teachers give permission for me to share it. If not, I have permission from the teachers we've done workshops with in the past. I can show some really fantastic images and video of them uh, uh, learning uh, the, these activities and lesson plans. So that's the Educator Zone at CosmoQuest. Uh, CosmoQuest.org up at the top. Click Educate Educator Zone. We've got a little blog there. I've been trying to keep up to date as well. Uh, and then, since we had to put in our abstracts for next year's NSTA meeting, 
um, we have gone ahead and decided the next one we're going to develop is an asteroid, uh, small bodies in the solar system type unit. And uh, they came up with the name Investigate, which at first I was a little skeptical about, but now I really kind of am in love with. So um, there'll be a lesson plan involving asteroids uh, coming out of that as well. Um, but if you go to the Dawn mission page, the NASA Dawn mission, which is the, the spacecraft that went to Vesta and is now going to Ceres, they've got some amazing lesson plans there as well. And so we're hoping to put these together into a unit that, again, you can use with your, um, use with your students. So I'm going to check in on the comments <laughs> and say hi, everybody. Thank you for sharing part three. Uh, I don't think we're going to get a glass feed uh, the glass is not yet set up for a Hangout on Air broadcast. You could do private Hangouts, um, and you can see what I see. So uh, we'll be doing that at some point, hopefully. At least I'll be creating some videos, which I can share out in a Hangout on Air later. But we cannot broadcast from glass just yet. And all you would see is, is the bright light that I'm staring into in the camera anyway. Uh, but I've been sending a couple pictures out. Um, Ryan Consell, hi, is <laughs> hoping for a delightful disaster as we get more and more tired. Um, so yeah, we've been in for eight hours. Uh, you guys are sharing the donation link. If you go to cosmoquest.org slash donate, that's where you can, again, the money goes towards uh, paying uh, Georgia and Kathy and Ellen to create these uh, new lesson plans, these units these activities and then present them and, and, and do it as teacher professional development. I should note the professional development workshop series we're doing, you can get your professional development credits, your CPDUs uh, for doing, so that's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> if anyone out there watching is interested in doing an online version, uh, we are open to ideas. We tried it before, but um, just doing it off the cuff like that uh, didn't quite work in pulling in the the numbers we wanted to so uh, if you have any ideas about that talk about that let's talk about that um, we have an email address to educate at cosmoquest.org that's where we we run all that stuff